Joining me on, me on Fan TV after a 6-3 home defeat by the London Raiders, I've got Owen Griffiths and I've got Captain James Ferrara. James, we started slowly and, and although the game was clawed back in that final period, it, eventually it wasn't enough. No, I think you said it there, we started slowly. Um, we spoke a lot about uh, not doing that at the start of the game. Um, we had a long meeting about it and said, you know, over the past few weeks we, we have started some games slowly. Um, not maybe at the tempo that we want, despite maybe sometimes going ahead. Um, tonight, obviously, we went behind, but we shouldn't be going behind in the game to then jumpstart us in the tempo-wise. Um, so that was, I mean, a little bit of a disappointment. But you know, the two-nil down in the first period. I think the, the second goal that they scored was lucky on his deflection on the power play. But you know, the chances were even. We just we weren't clinical, and they were clinical. Um, unfortunately, sometimes that wins your hockey games. Um, obviously, we did well to claw it back. The second period, perhaps we didn't score as many as we should have done again you know it comes down to, to being clinical in front um, you know I think this guy here did a, did a great job on his goals of getting in front of the net and getting on those rebounds I think we, we struggled at certain times in the game with that um, but uh, as you said you know it's the way we start the game it wasn't wasn't right and we left ourselves perhaps too much too much to do but disappointing having tied it in the third period to then you know lose it again I think that's the key Owen you're, you're in a great run of form personally a couple of goals last weekend a couple of goals tonight but uh, but Upon going equal, the level, the three all, um, what, what, I, what I was surprised at, I guess, is that they, they, they responded really well. They came at us and it was us on the back foot after that third goal for the Phantoms and not the Raiders. Yeah, um, I, I think we give them a bit too much tonight. I think we're a good enough team. We're, in, we're an EPL side and in our league and we should be winning every game. It don't matter who you're playing. And Yeah, they did do well and they kept composed. And I think out of the sides that we play so far, that's the best performance I've seen from a a team step up or so uh, they did do well and um, for troops of them they uh, deserve the win in the end and they took the chances when they had them and like you say the the I guess winning goal was a bit of a lucky bounce but that's what happens when you work hard you get good karma and unfortunately for us it wasn't on our side today. And James it was uh, it was physical and it was chippy end of first and, and certainly through the through the second uh, do, do you think that and, and that's possibly the first time it's been really like that throughout the whole season in any of the teams that we've played. Do you think that was a, a surprise? Did it put the Phantoms off during that, that period? I don't know. Uh, it's difficult obviously being there and, and not seeing it um, to know whether it put us off our stride or, or not. Um, obviously something had to change. We had to go and do something because um, you know we were a couple of goals behind or we went three goals behind and then we were chasing the game and obviously we've got to get to the net. Um, we're trying to shoot as much, you know, more as much as possible, and try and get those lucky bounces. And sometimes, when you play that way, things get more chippy. You get close to the goalies; they don't like it, and things like that. So, um, I think, you know, in the second, perhaps the ref did an all right job at calling some of that. Um, but, you know, I, I, I think either way, no matter what the game was like, we we didn't get pucks on net as much as we perhaps should have done. Um, we didn't get on them as much as we should have done. But as as, as Griff said. I think we gave them a little bit too much time when they did then have the puck and you know when they got the puck and they, they blew the zone and they sometimes caught us out, odd man rushes and stuff um, and that happens when you chase the game but you can't you can't give them those opportunities. And then it puts so much more importance now on the next game. Yeah absolutely and uh, tomorrow is such a big game you know I, I don't know how, how Swindon got on tonight if they played or not but um, obviously they're going to have a little fire in their belly from, from their result last week as should we have after tonight. Um, it's hockey, it's sport. These things happen. It's you know, it doesn't mean the league's you know long and gone. Everybody's still fighting. Everybody's dropped points. I think now, apart from one team. So um, there's a, there's a hell of a lot to play for tomorrow, but also in the coming weeks, it's a, it's a long season, and we need to make sure we're the most consistent team at the end of it. Yeah, well, thanks for joining us and spending such a long time. I know it's difficult after the, the defeat. We'll see you tomorrow night. Thank Cheers. You.